All right, I don't know if anyone's really going to uh, get a kick out of this, but I always love watching people trim their pottery. So after you've thrown a piece, here, let me show you the twin of this one. So I threw these two pieces yesterday along with a couple of other things. And uh, so today they're ready to trim up the bottom, uh, just clean it up and put a little foot ring around the base here. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that and then add some additional uh, textures on the outside and the handles, which I've preformed in there, uh, drying over there. So just wanted to go ahead and uh, put some positive things out on the internet. So. I'm just going to go ahead and trim my mugs. Don't mind the uh, uh, noisy wheel. So first I'm just cleaning up the wall right next to where the foot was. And then just cleaning up the base. Some people get pretty, um, pretty artistic and very exacting with the uh, bottoms of their pieces. I'm not one of those people. Um, I just try to get it clean and so it's going to sit uh, evenly when I actually try to use the piece. Okay, so I cleaned things up. So now what I'm going to do is use my smaller trimming tool and just use the corner of it to um, define where I want the foot ring to be. So as it's going around, I'm just gonna slowly put the corner down, make a nice line there, start to deepen it a little bit. Before I put it down, I did kind of check the depth of the floor of this piece um, so that I have an idea of how low can I go. Um, Cause it's always sad when you're trimming a piece and then you puncture right through it. And then you wonder, can I turn this into a planter? Many beginning potters have many planters. All right, so now I have my ring. Um, might be able to show you here. So I've created the ring on top. So now I'm going to carve out this middle part and leave this outer ring as the place it'll sit. Sorry, I don't have very fancy uh, recording equipment. This is just my cell phone. So just kind of starting right by where that line was made. And then working the tool inwards, not going past the center because I only need to work along the radius of this circle that is spinning under my tool. Um, so I more or less have, have, um, gotten it carved out along that radius and I'm just deepening it a little bit and trying to, uh, clean up any, uh, ridges made by the tool. Now I'm going to go back to the larger tool and just clean up the foot part so that hopefully when this is all said and done, this is going to sit nice and level without rocking on a surface where a user might want to put it. And then I'm just going to take my smoothing sponge and just do the last clean up here, cleaning out all the ridges from the tool getting it nice and smooth. So I'll show you again what we have here. So have a nice little foot ring. Um, now I need to add my mark. So a while ago I created my little bread stamp since my first love is baking but uh, 
transition from one dough to another in clay. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put my mark in, my maker's mark. And there we go, little loaf of bread. So the next steps, which I may videotape some of, will be to add uh, texture like I've already put on the tail handles. Um, and that's just done using this um, manicure tool that I never used for manicure stuff, um, but it works great for adding scale-like texture to make my dragon mugs. So, hope everyone's having a good day. Bye.